Should you study in Austria? What are the pros and cons? Find out in this week's video. This week's question comes from Uruc and she writes Hey, I've been looking into Vienna for my bachelor's and I wanted to know how expensive it is for students and the pros and cons for students to move there. Also the environment for students as I have not been able to visit the area till yet, unfortunately. Love your videos, you're such help and you're guiding and helping so many people. Uruc, thank you so much for your question and yes, Austria is definitely worth looking at if you're considering moving abroad for your studies. Austria is home to some of the most well-known and globally well-known universities and even in Vienna. In Vienna itself has nine universities. And Austria keeps attracting smart international students as you are. And even fourth of all the students in Austria are coming from abroad. So what are the pros really? Let's take a look at it. First pro, no entrance examinations. If you are from a country like me where entrance examinations are a thing and are freaking hard and pretty much means you spending every Saturday a uh, whole year long in the prep school only to increase your chances to get admitted to the universities, this is a huge one. Of course, there are certain requirements you still need to meet. And if you're from a non-European Union country, there is even more of them. Now, for example, your qualification needs to meet the Austrian equivalent. Now, within the European Union, it's easier because we have the master's and the bachelor's degree and they are pretty much the same in terms of duration and structure pretty much in all of the European Union countries. So if your qualification doesn't exactly meet the Austrian equivalent, you might need to go through some extra examinations before you might get admitted. So it's worth checking out the requirements before you apply to certain universities. Also, for most of the programs, B2 or C1 level German is required. But of course, there are programs in English too. Second, no tuition fees in public universities. For students coming from the European Union countries, studies are pretty much free. Now, of course, besides the student union fee, that is around 18 euros a semester, which is pretty much nothing. For non-European Union students, it's 1450 euros a year and also you need to prove that you can sustain yourself financially for a year and yes the cost in austria for students are around 7000 euros but you should be calculating especially if you're about to study in vienna with around 10,000 euros so around 800 or 900 euros a month can't really afford that you can still apply for a scholarship for example, the Federal Aid for Students offers study grants for certain areas of study or study allowances. The value of the grants offered is between 500 and 900 euro a month and you can find more information at scholarshipportal.com slash scholarship slash Austria. Third, attractive cities. For instance, Vienna has been voted as number one in the list of the most livable cities in the world by Mercer. And it truly has everything that you might need from a big city life. The cultural life is very active and throughout the weekends you have plenty of options to choose from. Whether that's going to a museum or for a hike or visiting the countryside. The transportation is super efficient and plus it's very much secure. And a bonus, it's actually in the center of a lot of other capital cities, like for instance Bratislava or Budapest, or is also very close to Prague. Okay, time for some cons. First, new students are often tested out in Austria, which means that the exams in the first few semesters are quite hard, or at least not so easy. And of course that makes sense because it kind of compensates for 
no entrance examination. Second, some of the Austria's universities are underfunded, which means restricted consultation hours, crowded halls, and also kind of a long waiting times, for example, for certificates. And third, the admission is still quite a bit complicated for non-European Union citizens. For the non-European Union students, the process is still a bit bureaucratical and therefore requires good planning and a bit of a patience. To sum it up, Austria offers some quite good study opportunities and is less expensive compared to some other popular cities or countries international students might want to go to. Also, it has a great cultural life and a huge international community, especially if you're coming to the bigger cities like Vienna. And on the other hand, of course, it might be a bit more complicated to get admitted if you are coming from non-European Union world, but nothing you can't handle if you can take a bit of a challenge. So I hope that helps and now I'm curious to hear from you. Would you like to come to study to Austria? What do you perceive as being the biggest challenges? And do you have any other questions? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching and I catch you next week on Boundaryless.